Hi, it's Elizabeth. I just wanted to come to you with some pieces that I recently got from my own collection. Um, I thought you might enjoy seeing them. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with this. Okay, this is actually a bracelet. Oh, let me zoom out a little. I mean, yeah, zoom out. It's a, a bracelet. It's missing some stones. And it has a coordinating necklace, which was very, very short. Uh, which is also missing some stones, but the chain's in nice condition. The book chain. Um, and I was able to put them together to make one necklace that's a more reasonable length. Let me check to see what size that one is. Anyways, thank you for joining me. And yeah, this one is, it's about 21 inches that way. So it's much more wearable for me. So, there we go. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah, thank you for joining me. Um, appreciate it. A lot of new subscribers, and I really appreciate you as well as all of my older subscribers. Um, you know, I collect and sell vintage jewelry. I like certain plastic jewelry very much. I love glass jewelry. I love um, indigenous American jewelry, Mexico sterling jewelry, uh, gemstone jewelry, uh, antique jewelry. So you'll see all kinds of stuff here. And I always usually pick up some uh, odd pieces here and there when, I, when I'm out sourcing. And I do my sales on the Jewelry Nurse channel. So you can just search jewelry nurse all one word in the search bar and um, I basically sell there every Sunday um, at 4:45 to 5 o'clock Pacific which is 7:45 to to 8 o'clock East Coast time anyways this was just a really nice, um, just a really nice necklace. Three strands. You know, I, I, I wouldn't wear it like this. Um, it's possible that I might take it apart and turn it into a longer necklace or something like that. But since it's in good shape, the way that it is. Um, I'll probably just add it to my collection like that. Okay. Oh. All right. This. This one. Let's see. Can you read that? I can't read that. All right. I'll try it again. This one is, gosh, I can't tell what it says. <laughs> Let me try one more time here. Let me see. Oh, that's Hong Kong. Okay. So this is a Hong Kong. That last one didn't have a mark on it. These are also plastic, but beautiful beads. And I love, love, love those end caps. Little floral ones. It's very pretty. So this is kind of the same story with the other one. I probably won't take it apart because it's in nice condition. However, um, it's gonna be too short for me to really wear. Um,
this very, very pretty um, orange and gold tone necklace. It's got a spring ring clasp. Um, gives you an idea of the age of it. And I just, I love that really rich color of orange. And that's also in really nice condition. Okay, and then the last plastic one. This is a plastic lay. Um, <laughs> I have a I have a different one that I bought that still has tags on it, um, and it says where they sold them in Hawaii and whatnot. At any rate, I just think it's so cute, so cute. Um, and again, I'd love to take that apart. <laughs> Uh, and make something else with it. However, it's in beautiful condition, so I'm just gonna leave it. I find enough uh, broken stuff that I can wait till I get the broken stuff. Okay. All right. I got this necklace. They're glass beads sort of a tortoise shell looking um, and they're each individually linked makes a beautiful beautiful necklace and it must have a clasp on it somewhere let's see oh yeah it's right here okay there's a little wear on the clasp but it is beautifully beautiful other than that Okay. This one has an older uh, clasp, an older, um, like a, it's almost a thumb clasp, sort of in between a thumb clasp and a spring ring. Um, and it's got these beautiful glass beads. I also got a couple of other necklaces that I had to take apart and I need to wash the beads because they're filthy. Um, and I'll show those to you another time. Anyways, I thought this was beautiful. And probably, well, it's too short, too short for me uh, to wear. So if I'm gonna wear it, I will uh, restring it. But otherwise I will just slip it into my collection. Okay. Here we go. I'll lay this one down. Ooh. Hopefully I can see all that. So this is beautiful. I seem to be collecting um, green and gold jewelry. Um, most of it is going to be for sale, but uh, I seem to be attracted to it. Anyways, look at the complexity of those green glass beads. They're really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So that one will go into my collection. Uh, this one has a mark, so let's read it. Uh, I think this one is Japan. Yeah, Japan. this little one. This one is so sweet. The 
beads, the yellow beads are glass. It's just like a cute, cute little vintage necklace. There. Well, there we go. And then the next one is a beautiful um, faceted milk glass. Two strand necklace there. A beautiful clasp, a little bit of uh, age to the clasp, but here it is. So I just love that. And there are a couple more things that I want to show you today. Um, let's see. Let's see. So these earrings, the cabochons are just beautiful. So shiny. They're glass and they are like foil backed. Um, I was thinking about putting a different like a clip on or screw back finding, um, but I might try these and see how they work for me. Anyways, I'm hoping you can see the beauty of the color in there, color in the iridescence. Okay, now these. I better get my board. Oops. These are enamel. They're pink and sort of a violet color. And they are enamel. And they're so cute. Um, there's wear on them. So I, but I love them enough to put them in my collection. So there we go. So we got that. And then we have these clip-ons here. Oh, sorry. There they are. So these are a white glass and it they look to me like um, the Japanese uh, tonbo or tombo beads, um, or style glass, uh, not bead. Um, and, but it's also been given this texture on it, which I think is so cool. Okay, so there's the back. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to show you today is this um, bracelet. The mark inside says uh, E-T-K-I-E, and I looked that up, and it is a company that employs uh, about 12 Navajo uh, jewelry makers, um, and they make just stunning jewelry. So this is a really nice cuff. It's very comfortable. It's got copper in there. So you can, you know, you can kind of shape it to you. Um, anyways, I thought that was just absolutely stunning. So let's see, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed it and give me a like and a subscribe if you if you want to and I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.